The WNBA draft happened last night, and just like we motherfucking said it would. <laughs> okay, Caitlin Clark is now a member of the Indiana Fever. Yeah. Let's go. Kathy Engelbert there, the uh, WNBA commissioner, she made some announcements about expansion last night, and uh, she had a hell of a draft last night. The stars were out. Yeah, oh, yeah. Stars were out. And obviously, Caitlin Clark was number one overall. She was wearing Prada, okay? First time Prada had ever dressed a male or a female for a draft before. No big deal. So, shots to Caitlin Clark bringing Prada into, uh, <laughs> into the sports world. Good, obviously, you know. that's what Caitlin Clark would do. Yeah. Immediately upon Caitlin Clark getting drafted to the Fever, I got jacked up because I said, okay, now we can officially tweet. We'll see you on Wednesday. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will see her tomorrow in here, I believe, 1230 Eastern. Caitlin Clark will be joining yep. the program. Cannot wait to chat with her about her mentality, her life, and, you know, the ripple effect that she causes to not only leagues and teams, but cities. Indianapolis is about to benefit from her coming here and getting drafted here, and we're very, very grateful for that. There was a watch party for the draft last night for the Indiana Fever. Yeah. Geez. Now, for those of you that don't know, the Las Vegas Aces, back-to-back -back champions. Mm -hmm. The New York Liberty have been in the finals. It's a big deal. Sure. Fever, obviously, have been around for a while, have history, but haven't been as great over the last few years. Her teammates losing their mind. Yeah. The arena filled up just to announce that she's coming. And, Caitlin, we can't wait for you to get to this city. You and Aaliyah Boston are about to be Ooh. a tag team Ooh. that's about to knock the Las Vegas Aces off of their dumb mountain Hell they've yeah. been living on. Now, we have a lot of friends on the Las Vegas Aces. Team. Sure. We've been told numerous times that there's a chance the Las Vegas Aces are watching this show right now. Whoa. Your time is up. Our time is up. <laughs> Bingo. Bingo. Sorry about it. Now, Chicago Sky go with Barboso and Angel Reese. Oh, yeah. Last night, Chicago Sky get big underneath, obviously. But the WNBA has a lot of you yeah. know, like we watch college ball mm -hmm. and we see Barbosa 6.8 down there in South Carolina out of Brazil and it's like, wow. That is obviously a massive force underneath. House. And then Angel Reese and her, there's a lot of videos of them banging underneath. Mm -hmm. You forget Beastu, who's in WNBA. Uh, that's, that's right. right. Beastu's in mm -hmm. There is a lot in WNBA size. I'm excited for this next generation to come in. Actually got pumped up about the WNBA season, which is starting much sooner yeah. than you would imagine with the draft taking place here. And uh, congrats to the W yeah. on the up and up. Mm -hmm. And this is what Caitlin... No offense, okay? Love Angel Reese. Sweet dress. With the hood? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Great yeah. Great looks. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Everybody last night, sweet looks. Paige Buckets, sweet. Yep. Fantastic. Kate Martin, Cameron Br sweet night for mm -hmm. everybody. This is the ratings monster. Yeah. Right here. Mm -hmm. And if she continues to do what she's doing for women's basketball, I think she'll be able to sleep soundly at night knowing that she's getting paid 78 grand next year. Four years, $333,000 total contract coming in to the WNBA. Laughable. And everybody's like, well, she'll make money doing other stuff. It's like, well, how about the amount of money she's about to make for the owners of mm -hmm. the WNBA? It's like, well, she's doing good for the sport. It's like, if in the NFL... This happened, every media member would be attacking the shit out of the NFL mm -hmm. for taking advantage of a talent, for taking advantage of a money machine. But instead, I enjoy the fact that everybody's kind of all in, including Caitlin, like, good for the game. Mm -hmm. This is good for the game, yep. good for the league. Shout out to her, shout out to the next generation, and shout out to the WNBA 10 years from now being something that'll be even bigger, oh, yeah. you know, more profitable, hopefully, and something in my daughter, Mackenzie, who is putting balls in hoops mm -hmm. already Here we go. at 11 months. She's a lefty, too. So, okay. mm -hmm. you know, we got a little wiggle, ball. too. Yep. Mm -hmm. It will be something she can aspire to get into and be real profession, making very good money because they're about to sell out arenas everywhere. She sold out her jerseys. I mean, she made up her contract uh, in 22 minutes last night yeah. for the Indiana Fever, and she yeah. wasn't even in Indianapolis yet. So, good for the game, good for Caitlin, great for Indianapolis, and we're grateful for it. Yeah, I'm sure the ratings from last night, too, like they were doing the, the last two years. Like, last night was the first time they ever sold tickets to the uh, WNBA draft. I think they sold sold out in 22 minutes and like you said like who knows what kind of cut she's getting from like the jersey sales but i assume those are going for anywhere from like 80 to 100 bucks a pop every jersey from extra small to double xl sold out last night immediately like it just is crazy it really seems like there is no there's no ceiling on like what she can do for this league like i mean you know people are saying hey if she doesn't play well right away then that's going to be a thing and it's going to kind of you know curtail this or whatever like She's already sold out everything next year. Hasn't played once yet. She's selling out all of her jerseys. Like she, she's kind of already really done like the boon that has like 
the WNBA is, is a much, 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 much bigger deal now than it was, you know. We're not saying we're not saying that the basketball level. No. Okay. No. We understand that the sport, the WNBA basketball level, is very high. Very high. Very high. Mm-hmm. Well, we're uh, getting a chance to watch it. Actually, no. Did my interest get peaked because of what happened last year in March Madness? Sure. To women's basketball yeah. as a whole. Yes. No. I'm doubt. sorry. Sue me. Don't actually <laughs> shout out Brett Favre. You watch the WNBA though. We got. Hey. Wiggle. There is. We got real. Hey. It's a good league. Very good. Great league. Yeah. And, you know, the shit talk that's taking place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From the younger gener- from older generation to the younger generation, like, you're going to have to earn it in this entire thing. And the younger generation is like, excuse me, we're bringing the Brinks truck, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We understand you laid the foundation. You made this game great. You guys are great. But also, how about a thank you uh, mm-hmm. for everything we're bringing? Yeah. That- Caitlin's going to get... Every single buddy, everybody's best shot yeah. every single night in the WNBA. And I think it's only going to up the oh, level yeah. of play throughout the entire And time. like you mentioned, they've, W has had the stars and they've had the talent, but this is this box office. You know, this is bringing eyeballs. And then what you also need in sports are like the narratives, the personalities, the storylines behind it, all the other sports, NFL, NBA, we all have it. So now that it's coming more so to the forefront with the W, I'm excited about the future for sure. Yeah.